Hi, it's Tim the Caffeine Racer with something a little bit different today. I am down the shed, uh, the workshop, the man cave, whatever you want to call it, and we are on the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, this is the 8 gig model, and uh, this one's overclocked, and I thought today we would play a little bit of Minecraft as a way to unwind for 10 minutes, and I'm going to do some little episodes um, using a Raspberry Pi to play Minecraft. Uh, we're playing version 1.12.2 which is the latest version that so far I've managed to get to work. Um, I am working on going up to a more modern version but uh, one step at a time. Uh, the Pi is overclocked and I've got a nice iced cooling tower on it uh, to keep it running nice and chilled while we do this and it's a good test for the Raspberry Pi to play a game such as Minecraft. Um, this is running off a 32 gig SSD rather than a memory card so hopefully that's going to help our performance a little bit as well but we're going to start a new map create a new world and we're going to call it a slice of pie craft <laughs> and survival yes and world options let's have a quick look generate structures yes standard no cheats no bonus chest we're going to play this properly create new world um, so what i'm going to do is i always play minecraft windowed anyway i don't like to play it full screen uh, which will obviously aid with frame rate um, which is helpful and then what I will do in the video is that I will edit down so that you can see the whole screen that I'm playing on uh, while this is going on okay um, so you'll get a full screen edition and I'll be getting a windowed edition um, but yeah it'd be interesting to see what we can get up to in the world of Minecraft while using a Raspberry Pi uh, I use my Pi down the shed for 3d design um, I use it for talking to my 3D printers, um, general emailing and Word documents, etc. And a bit of retro gaming. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. Um, but here we go, loading into a new world in a moment. Oh. Okay, it's going to just take a moment to load in some chunks. Well, this is interesting. I am expecting a little bit of laggy performance just as we load in the world and then after that it should get better. So, looks like we're in a jungle biome because there's some cocoa up there. We might have to dig our way out, people. Oh, fell straight down. Useful, useful. Look at this, cocoa beans. I'll we'll grab some wood as well. We're not gonna be hanging around. We're gonna need some place to stay before nighttime. And we're gonna need a few things like tools and torches. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be our aim to just uh, see if we can th thrive on this Minecraft on Pi edition. And see how playable it is. Um, can't really see much at the moment. We just get out of here, don't we? So let's uh, cast ourselves out of this hole that we seem to have spawned in and see if we can't get up. Ah, I can see a way to get up. Hold on a minute. Doink. Mm, maybe not. Mm. See if I can bash my way through. No. Nope. No luck, okay. Uh, oh, over there. Let's go that way. Jungle biome. Not been in a jungle biome for ages. Seems to always spawn next to a beach or a desert for some reason. But this looks quite interesting. Oh, watermelons. Oh, wow, that's tall. Okay. Um, Let's go and grab those watermelons a second because that could be useful for food as well. Look at the chasm! Oh, this is quite interesting already. Hey you can tell I'm a pro gamer by that massive leap of death then I just performed. What a way to start! <laughs> 
with food in your hand, people. Food in your hand. 17. Yummy, yummy. Bits of watermelon. Um, we'll make some of those into seeds as well. Now, this is really interesting. I will want to go down to the chasm. Uh, but for now, I think we will stick to being upside until we've got a load of tools, etc. and torches. Uh, oh, stuck. Let's fly away through. Oh, there's some water here. What is this? Seeds. Cocoa beans. This is pretty cool. Now I think we're going to have to prioritise a few things, which will be obviously getting torches and tools and uh, making a bed um, because we need somewhere to respawn to. So first of all, let's grab some wood and a crafting bench and put that down and just get ourselves a an axe so that we can create some more wood for fires and bits and bobs that we might need i know some of you will be screaming at me saying don't do that do this well it's going to be bit of a revision for me it's been a while since I've played and let's say just a bit of fun cool got an axe oh look at the size of this tree well that's easier I've got gonna get ourselves some wood now well so far I would say performance wise we're doing pretty well um, we're looking top frame rate 28 frames a second uh, it depends what you're doing I guess uh, and how many animations are going on I have got the animations turned down quite low and I have got Optifine installed which is giving me a bit of a leg up because it's reduced some of the uh, draw distance some of the settings of the fancy features etc um, it gives you a lot more control over what gets drawn into Minecraft. Um, but I think if it carries on playing like this, I will actually turn it up a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't think it would hurt us to have another chunk, maybe. So let's quickly do that. Video settings, draw distance is on 4. We're going to bump that up to 5. Let it load. Oh yeah, it gives us a little bit more draw distance, doesn't it? Once it's loaded, it's not too bad. Oh, a piggy! Piggoos. Excellent. Hi, piggy friends. So, not a bad little biome, really. We are going to need to make a house, though. And we are going to need some more wood for tools and definitely making torches. So I'm just going to crack on a second with just uh, lopping down a few of these trees. It's the one mod I've always wanted to put on Minecraft uh, and that is the timber mod. So that when you chop down, or it might be the lumberjack mod, that when you chop down a tree, um, the whole tree then falls down and turns into blocks once you've chopped out just one block which I think is a really good idea um, I think the floating tree heads are a bit strange right we are going to have to dig in and find ourselves some cobblestone oh is that cobble there? no it is not cobble right uh, let's grab a pick and I'm just going to cut in here quickly because I need to make an oven or furnace And this could actually be our first little base if we uh, do this right. Okay, so you got a couple more. Cool. 
Cool. Uh, I've left my crafting bench over here. You'll have to forgive my uh, very clunky sounding keyboard. It's really old. It's like an old Dell one. Um, <laughs> like an old office keyboard it makes a terrible noise so I do apologize for that um, but it's done me well and uh, say so it's only down the shed so it's uh, doing a grand job do you know if you used a pickaxe Tim that would be a lot easier so I think we'll put our crafting bench back in our food stuff's up there we're gonna make ourselves a furnace Boom. Oh, lag, I saw that then. Block jump back in. Right, I'm going to take some wood and I'm going to place it in the bottom and we're going to put some wood on top. Split that in half. some charcoal and then put one bit of charcoal back into the furnace because that gives you eight uh, sorry four four blocks of wood burnt for every one piece of charcoal so if I stick two in there that'll be enough to do those 11 blocks that are left and we've got a bit of light which is good I think next thing is we need a door so wood six and catch a door and I think we'll have a plate as well just so the door automatically opens and closes excuse if you can hear the rain outside it is pouring down here today for some reason we've had really good weather up until now hey look at this Got a little house going on and we've got some charcoal so quickly make some torches because we're going to need some light on the situation perfect we'll have one in here and it's already going dark this could be the perfect place to uh, just finish our first episode of a slice of pie craft yeah this could be a good start yeah it's getting dark it's getting dark let's put a torch out here I'd have to say performance wise looking pretty good probably looks better to you than it does to me because I haven't got a 1080p screen on this monitor's only like uh, 720 again janky is as janky does um, but we are up and running in Minecraft on a Raspberry Pi um, really pleased with that right before I go I'm gonna make one more thing I'm gonna turn a few more of these into wood and we're gonna make a box just to put some stuff in in a minute perfecto I think we'll just knock out these two pop pop Super, but let's have some of those back. Well, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this first tiny little episode. And this is what they're going to be. They're going to be like little micro episodes as we explore Minecraft on the Raspberry Pi. A slice of pie craft, we're going to call it. Hey, Piggy. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Um, we will keep turning the graphics up bit by bit to see how far we can push this. Um, but at the moment, uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good little adventure. So thanks for your time and we'll see you soon.